Ensuring that you conform to local policy for hygiene, open the iGel package and on a flat surface take out the protective cradle containing the device. In the final minute of pre-oxygenation, remove the eye gel and transfer it to the palm of the same hand that is holding the protective cradle, supporting the device between the thumb and index finger. Place a small bolus of water-based lubricant, such as KY jelly, onto the middle of the smooth surface of the cradle in preparation for lubrication. Do not use silicon-based lubricants. Grasp the eye gel with the opposite free hand along the integral bite block and lubricate the back, sides and front of the cuff with a thin layer of lubricant. This process may be repeated if lubrication is not adequate. But after lubrication has been completed, check that no bolus of lubricant remains in the bowl of the cuff or elsewhere on the device. Avoid touching the cuff of the device with your hands. Place the eye gel back into the cradle in preparation for insertion. Do not place the device onto the pillow or chest of the patient and always use the protective cradle provided. Do not use unsterilized gauze to help in lubricating the device. Do not apply lubricant too long before insertion and always ensure dentures or plates are removed from the mouth before attempting insertion. The eye gel must always be separated from the cradle prior to use. The protective cradle is not an introducer and must never be inserted into the patient's mouth.